Chapter 26, Life at Fort Oswegatchie. Life at this outpost in the wilderness was austere, but not all bad. The men had a garden, and they went fishing, and there was companionship. Officers and men at the fort generally included a captain, two lieutenants, a commissary, a surgeon, an Indian interpreter, a gunner, two or three sergeants, two drummers, and thirty to sixty rank and file. A varying number of Indians was always near the fort. Laboratory chests one, candles pounds one, laboratory knives two, barrels of corn powder with copper hoops four, round shot loose two thirty eight, K shot fixed to wooden bottom sixteen, grape shot forty, scissors pears one, priming wires two, barrels copper hooped containing carbide cartridges two, measures for powder two pounds, one measures for powder one pound one. Measures for powder, 8 ounces, 1. Measures for powder, 4 ounces, 1. Measures for powder, 2 ounces. Measures for powder, 1 half ounce, 1. Muskets with bayonets, 9. And cartridge bases, 9. Received from the late 84th Regiment. A return of furniture at Fort Oswegatchie on August 31, 1784, prepared by Sergeant Harrison and Barrack Master John Ferguson, listed, blankets, 33. Rugs, 18. Bed cases, 18. Bolter cases, 15. Pairs of sheets, 33. Pairs of dog irons, 7. Pairs of tongs, 4. Axes, 10. Trammels, 4. Iron pots, 7. Candlesticks, 6. Tables, 6. Forms, 4. Pounds of candles, 18. Grindstones, 1. Carpenter's planes, 5. Augers, 3. Chisels, 5. Smith's anvils, one. Sledgehammers, one. Screw plates, one. Bars of iron, one. Bars of steel, two. Iron wedges, two. Large vices, two. Smith's tongs, two. Listed in bad condition were 16 blankets, six rugs, 10 bed cases, three bolster cases, 27 pairs of sheets, one pair of tongs, 10 axes, three tables, and three forms. Provisions included rum, but rations per day were sometimes as little as one pound of biscuits and flour, nine and one-seventh ounces of pork, and one and one-seventh ounces of oatmeal. Sergeant Edward Harrison, on August 31, 1784, prepared the following return of ordnance at Fort Oswegatchie. Six pounders with standing carriages, three. Trucks, beds, and coins, three. Aprons of lead, three. Buckshot, 138 pounds. Musket shot, 258 pounds. Carbine shot, 56 pounds. Ball cartridges with buckshot, 112 pounds. Ball cartridges with common shot, 123 pounds. Musket flints, 500. Cartridge forms for muskets, 6. Cartridge forms for carbines, 6. Hand spikes, common, 6. Powder horns, 2. Claw hammers, 1. Wads, 70. Linstocks with hooks, 1. Linstocks without hooks, one. Dark lanterns, one. Padlocks, ladles with staves, two. Slow matches, 38. Marlines, tarred, one. Punches for clearing vents of guns, two. Cartridge paper, choirs, 12. Sponges with staves and rammer heads, three. Spare sponges and rammer heads, 15. Steel spikes for nailing guns, three. Sheepskins, five. Watermel tents, one. Pack thread, six ounces. Pack thread for cartridges, 6 ounces. Wad hooks, 2. Cartridge papers for 6 pounders, empty, 260. Cartridge papers for 6 pounders, filled with powder, 25. Company Adjutant Ferguson on September 8, 1781, prepared a return of provisions at the fort, listing 4,080 pounds of biscuits, 4,358 pounds of flour, 4,281 pounds of pork, and 2,800 pounds of oatmeal. These amounted to 8,438 rations of biscuits and flour, 7,491 of pork, and 39,200 of oatmeal, or victuals of biscuits and flour for 150 men for 56 days, of pork for 49 days, and of oatmeal for 200 days. Mm -hmm.